Hello Pokemon Trainers, I'm Trainer Connor, and we're here for week 5 from the Indigo League of Legends. Alright, so we're facing with Rustboro City Stoners, I believe? That would be Mac, who is the creator of this whole Pokemon League thing. We still have a weak point in the fairy types that I have here with this team that I have. I want to see how we do, because I see a cleft key, which I was expecting him to start with, by the way, but... He started off with Scizor. I decided to go for the burn here, because I noticed that most of Max Pokemon don't like being burned. Even Suicune that he has isn't going to like it. It's just because of residual damage, and that's kind of important in Pokemon battling. It's having chip damage. It racks up over time. But on my end, sure, it will be annoying eventually, but yeah, Gruga gets burned a little bit there. Not a problem. Here, I predicted the Clef Key to come in now, and that's why I go for Flamethrower. That was a great play on my end, but it doesn't KO that Clef Key. And you're going to see how annoying this Clef Key is going to be. It's a shiny Clef Key, so it's the best Clef Key all around. I thought this flamethrower would take out the Klefki for some reason, but it just barely holds on, and that's because of the light screen that's going up. I've had trouble with this. I mean, I don't have any knockoff users. I don't have any... what's that move? That moves. Status. I don't know. On top of my head, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. I knew that Sweetin was coming in now. And that's a great idea there, because I go into Raikou, and then I expected him to bring in Doug Trio because Doug Trio is that Pokemon that has Arena Shack. But he goes back into Klefki. I'm not sure why, but we're going to search out yet again. This is really tough because three out of my Pokemon are weak to Fairy. He could go for a play rough anytime. And to ensure that, I went into Raikou, but he switches back out into Suicune yet again. And here's where I make the mistake. I went for full switch instead of physically going out into something else like my Samurai. And that is unfortunate because I am locked in on full switch. I am choice specs, I believe, in this battle. Yeah, not looking too good there because the trio is going to not take any damage because I am using electric type of cast and he's just getting a free KO there. But unfortunately for him now, I have Verizon. I could have gone for a sword stance, and let's be honest here, I would love to do that instead of going for a close combat because look at that, Weezing just doesn't take anything from that, but I do have Zang Headbutt. Now here I do go for sword stance after I see the light screen wearing off, that's good, not very useful for him at this point because I have Verizon here. He goes for toxic spikes, and yeah, that is unfortunate. I don't have any rapid spinners. Fortunately, though, I only let him set up one layer, but I, I believe that just having that residual damage is going to rack up over time, like I said in my video earlier. But yeah, just, that's cool. Fortunately, I take out Weezing, which is surprising for Mac because he thought that Weezing would take that hit, but yeah, that. That's awesome that Verizon is that strong. With a Source Dance boost. Here, if I went for a Source Dance instead of going for close combat earlier on the Weezing, I would have definitely taken out the, the Scizor here, which I find very interesting on why he's not Mega Evolving. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain about that, but if you had a Mega Scizor, you would have used it for more power. So that's neither here nor there. I believe that Suicune isn't going to like the burn either. There's so much with sexual damage here. And that is important in any situation. And to ensure more damage, I go for a Shadow Scene. I could switch out and go into something different, which I probably should have done, or going for a Pain Split. Yeah, I think going for Pain Split would have been a much better 
called there, in my opinion. Because I do have it, but I don't make use of it here. Unfortunately. I go back and get Trainer Car 100. My Samurai from black and white. I get poisoned. I am Choice Scarf, I believe? I used to run Focus Sash in my previous video with the Celadon City Persians. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check that out and give me some feedback. But I have like three different Samurai sets. And this one is the, I think, Timid Nature with Surf and Grass Knot, which I actually locked myself into here to take out of the Suicune. But here's where things get really hilarious, because I, I, I really thought, I really thought that this Grass Knot would take out the Klefki. That is so entertaining. I was laughing at this, because like, honestly, I am Swiss Scarf, and I'm like, you know what, let's just go for it again, because that's pretty funny. But that's going to cost me my Samurai. I really should have... Well, because, okay, yeah, I still have a weakness to Fairy. Why would I want to do that? So I decided to just Deathfogger my Guja and hopefully take a hit. Nope, not apparently there. But, yeah, I still have a weakness to Fairy, and that's a problem. So I go back into QC100, go for Surf, and we take out Klefki. See how annoying Klefki is? It's very annoying. Yes, yes, indeed. And this will result in almost a double down. I live with 4 HP, but unfortunately, Doug Trio can just come in and go for Sucker Punch in the face. That's the end for my Samurai there. And we have Spirit Kim, who I thought could take an Earthquake, but unfortunately, no, at that level of HP, that's an absolutely zero chance. And that means that Dojo is becoming a problem here. Now my Kyle here, this is my Weavile that has the Focus Sash, so I know I can take an Earthquake or a Reversal for that matter. To a lesser extent there. I just go for a nice punch. And here's where things get really scary because this is my last Pokemon, I believe. He could just go for a Reversal and take me out. But he goes for Sucker Punch. I'm not sure why. That was a crit. And I just go for knockoff. He's going for a random move because I know the battle is over. But we get a double down. That's going to be the end of that battle. I have no other Pokemon to fight against the Diggersby or his other Pokemon like Doug Trio, I believe, but I already took it out. But anyways, that was the end of that battle. We're still losing. I'm still losing with this team. That is very unfortunate. I need to find... Just I can't wait for the next season. That's all I'm saying. But thank you to Mac for challenging me. We Number six, I believe, is going to come up here next time. So if you enjoyed, like this video, I'll see you later. Goodbye, Charles.